Here we go. Yeah, it's wow. Hey everybody, Bill here with Live Simple Live Free. I'm ready to start pouring the concrete footers. I went to Lowe's and I got everything that I needed for the foundation. I got the, uh, the cinder blocks, the concrete mix bags, and the mortar mix bags. Now I was going to just call a concrete company and have concrete delivered, but right now they're about three weeks out. <laughs> so if I ordered it now, I wouldn't be able to get it for three weeks and I can't sit here for three weeks. So that means I'm going to be hand mixing it all, which is a bear, but uh, it's not that much. It's only about three yards, so I'll be able to get it done. Now, many of you have said in comments that it's so nice that Barry is here to be able to help me. Um, actually, he's not. He's in the middle of building his own addition on his own house. If you'd like to see that, you can see it on his channel called Empty Hammock. And basically, he just kind of stops by every once in a while to see how my progress is. And when he does, then, of course, I grab him for a minute or two. But this is a lot of hard work. So he's going to give me today to uh, help me get this concrete footers poured. I think Molly might be helping, too. I'm not sure yet. But so we're going to we're going to get it done. And uh, I'm excited to finally get this process actually going. So as it turns out, I've got not only Barry, but his whole family here to help me. Can't even tell you how much I appreciate that, Barry. It's going to take something that would have been an ordeal for me, and we're going to get it done very quickly. Yep. Very excited about this. So we're going to shoot it with the transit one more time, just to make sure it's all level before we actually start pouring the footers. The, footers have, the footer forms have been in there for a few days and went through a couple of rainstorms, so we're just going to check it. So it turns out the far end of the footer is actually a foot lower than the, than the close side, so we're going to have to raise it up about an inch. I said a foot lower, an inch lower. <laughs> so we're going to have to raise it up an inch, so it's a good thing we checked it. So we have quite a system here to mix the, the mud, the concrete. As soon as the load is finished, Barry goes ahead and takes it in the wheelbarrow. 
As soon as the, he does that, you see Carly pouring water in for the next load. Two pitchers full of water. And Bruce picks up an 80 pound bag of concrete off of the trailer and takes it down to the mixer. The water is in there. Now Molly picks up a, a fan to blow away the concrete dust, which is not good to get in your eyes. Carly turns it back on. Molly tilts it over to let it mix. And by the time it's ready, Barry's back to pick up the next load. And Elizabeth cheers everybody on. <laughs> And I'm over in the footer spreading the concrete that Barry brought over. And there's the next load, ready to go. Very fast and easy when you got a whole team working. Handsome. Talking to me? Yes.
So concrete doesn't just dry out like mortar does. Concrete actually dries chemically and it dries harder and better if you keep it wet. And the sun was beating down and drying it out so I sprayed a little bit of extra water on here. So the footers are done as you see and the next thing to do is the cinder block which will be in the next video. So thanks for watching. Be sure to check out the next video when we lay the cinder block and subscribe if you haven't already so you can find that easily. Thanks for watching everybody. This is Bill. Live simple. Live free. You be blessed.